dystopia. Now, before I actually talked about the word dis, right? What did I say it meant? To divide. To divide, right. And where is it from? Latin? Greek. Greek. It's from Greek, right. Very good. And I talked about Donald Cashel, the Jungian analyst, and his book on, on, on dis, dismember, divide, dysfunction, disrupt. So this is dystopic. Topa, utopia in Greek is a place, topia. Okay, so oi in Greek is good. Okay, oi, topia, or you, topia, is a good place. Dystopia is the divided place or the bad place. If you ever watch the show on Netflix about the good place, right? Has anyone seen it? It's cute. It basically, if you do enough good things in life, you get to heaven, but the guy who's like, creating this little version of heaven doesn't do a very good job at it and he's trying to cover up his tracks it's a cute show but the good place is utopia the bad place is well a dystopia dystopia dis a, a dysfunctional world a dysfunctional place you know dystopic visions or ideas of dystopia have been with us forever they've been with us you know from ancient times but we see this a lot in movies dystopic movies like the Hunger Games is a good example of a dystopic movie, you know? In a world where there's dust and ashes and economic distress, there's a girl who has hope. This kind of, you know. And then, you know, this girl is on fire. <laughs> yeah, that's, so that's kind of a dystopic movie, a dystopic vision. You see it a lot in um, anime, an, a Japanese anime, a, animation, like in the, 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 the series Evangelion. Um, not my... Looks like there's a blood splatter back there. <laughs> Just get that out of the way. No, there's not. I don't know. It looks kind of weird. Okay, so um, so the, the the movie, like, you know, this kind of, as I'm talking about this, like, dystopia. <laughs> so dystopia is the idea that things are falling apart, the world is falling apart, and that that's kind of the, the, the way the world is going. You see this in a lot of, like I mentioned before, um, propaganda by extremist groups, be they extremist political groups, extremist religious groups, extremist self-help movements, extremist educational groups. Any group that's kind of extreme is going to present a vision of the world that's dying and decaying and a kind of a vision that there is the hopeful answer. Any other examples that you guys can think of of dystopic movies or dystopic TV shows? What's that? Street? Oh, I don't know it. District, I don't really watch much. I just watch Netflix. District 9? Uh-huh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw the, um, the trailer for that, yeah. I just want to go back. Like one man facing the aliens, right? Is that what it, I, I haven't even seen the movie, and we all know what it's about. Yeah. Okay. I didn't. See, I didn't see Castaway. I didn't see it. Yeah, but does he get home to, like, a, a, a world that's, like, destitute and dis... Yeah, I don't think that's a dystopic movie. That's more like... Because that, that could happen. Uh, I, I guess it could happen that somebody gets shipwrecked today. And that's more like a, a hope. Was that maybe based on a true story? That's not dystopic. Dystopic is more like my idea of a quintessential dystopic movie that's relevant to us all is The Matrix. You know, <clears throat> I'm not a bass baritone, and I'm not, like, quite... Um, hydrated enough but welcome to the desert of the real you know that kind of you know neo there are two pills there's the purple pill and the pink pill you can take whichever one but one will show you the real this was your world and you humans destroyed it that is kind of dystopic reality that is kind of a dystopic vision another kind of dark dystopic vision that i think is really good is the truman show you know they're all watching you all the time you <laughs> well they are no but uh, that's but but that that's kind of another kind of dystopia this kind of like our but you know what a dystopia is it's our wildest craziest fantasies 
of like negative fantasies. Everything's going wrong. The Illuminati is taking over. The Illuminati is working with the aliens to take over my brain through this music at this frequency. It's all of that brought to like a kind of almost like entertainment value. It's all your darkest fears brought to you in entertainment form. Does that make sense? No? All your darkest fears brought to you in entertainment form. Mm -hmm. And that is part of what we're working with right now. There's also something you have to consider about images. And I'm kind of a Jungian. I like Jungian psychology. I believe, and a lot of people do, that images are, are powerful. That images contain power. That images affect us. And that certain images, when they're too dark or too dystopic or too burnt out or too just weird and aggressive, they affect us in life. They affect the way we, we work. They affect the way we perform. They affect groups of people. You know, they, 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 they throw you off. 